Hi guys, look here. Um, welcome to a beautiful spring day here in Oban. I just wanted to make a little film today just to tell you about some of the research trips, the basking shark research trips we'll be running later in the year. Uh, you may have seen some footage or know of our other trips which run in the summer months, uh, primarily July and August, to, to encounter sharks, to swim with sharks. Um, these trips are fantastic trips and we do still have availability for them, but the trips are, uh, we have a time squeeze on those trips and we don't have the time we want to uh, do as involved uh, research as we'd like to. So we also run trips uh, later in the year, in the latter part of September and into October, uh, researching the basking sharks. Uh, these trips are also in a different part of Scotland, so in the summer months the basking sharks are around the islands of Col and Tyree and that's the kind of apex of their northerly migration. Um, after summer they'll be heading south, so we'll be looking at the sharks uh, around the Clyde area, so off the coast of Glasgow, around the islands of um, uh, Arran, off the Kyles of Butte, uh, in that area. Although on our normal trips through the summer months we are gathering data, uh, which we are ferrying off to um, various marine biologists and other scientists that we work with, um, the research trips allow us to gather more data as well. So we'll be doing things like photo identification. We'll also be getting into the skills of photography uh, for those that are uh, maybe less knowledgeable about cameras and photography, um, allowing you to capture uh, great images of shark fins because we'll be looking at the dorsal fins on the back of the shark. I will also be doing in-water photo identification because you will have the opportunity to enter the water with these sharks if we do encounter them. So we'll be looking at the markings on the lateral lines of the shark. You may or may not know that basking sharks are filter feeding sharks uh, and they eat tiny organisms called uh, zooplankton. Uh, this is very important for them and uh, has a major impact on their behaviours and where they may be. So we'll be looking at the plankton assemblage in the, our area of research. We'll be looking at um, plankton density, uh, plankton size and also the species of plankton we're encountering to see if that has um, bearing on where the sharks are. We'll also be using some modern technologies, so using things like drones to get aerial footage of the sharks, allowing to us to again look at behaviours and also be able to size the sharks accurately. Um, in this uh, particular clip you can see the shark, a uh, nice aerial view of the shark, and as he leaves the, the obvious plankton slick, he gets an area of camera water and then turns back into the slick of the area of greater plankton abundance. There's also plenty of other uh, learning opportunities there, so we'll be looking at things like the history of uh, the fisheries and shark hunting in Scotland and around the world, uh, worldwide uh, shark conservation and the status of sharks, uh, not just basking sharks worldwide presently. Typically a day we'll be out on the boat um, uh, searching for sharks initially, hopefully finding sharks um, if we do encounter them. Uh, taking photo ID images of the sharks uh, in and out the water, uh, preferably, getting some aerial footage uh, and also gathering plankton samples to see if the shark abundance uh, correlates to plankton abundance. In the evenings we're typically working up data, uh, where there's also a few lectures that will be given. So 2016 was our first year running these trips uh, and we had a successful year. We managed to um, identify uh, 26 individual sharks to add to our catalogue and we saw more sharks than that which we were unable to capture uh, images of. Um, so hopefully 2017 we will be able to build on these results. We'll be looking at whether those sharks we ID'd in 2016 are returning to the same area in the Clyde. Uh, whether we've got what's called site fidelity of sharks, where sharks are using the same sites year on year. We'll also be looking at the, the change in abundance of sharks, looking at changes in plankton abundance, and this will be a data set that we'll be adding to year on year and year, hopefully many years into the future, to look at the success of sharks in that area. Because it was in the Clyde era the sharks were last hunted. It was in 1994 the last shark was actually killed in the Clyde. And this is a very long living animal, so it takes a long time for these sharks to, uh, to grow again and get back to those once historically large numbers um, and so we're right at the forefront of research in that area. So hopefully the research that we're doing in the Clyde area will help us to ascertain whether the shark numbers in that area are growing, whether it's an important area where sharks are coming back there every year to say breed, uh, to pup possibly, uh, certainly to feed uh, and looking at these factors, uh, whether we can uh, um, find out if this remains an important area for the basking shark in Scotland or whether it's just a, uh, where they're just migrating through and whether the population say in the Hebrides is tied to this, this population that we find further south in the Clyde area 
where, whether that's a migratory route from the sharks moving south from the Hebrides, or whether that's a separate population. So many questions still surrounding the basking sharks, uh, whether it's the basic biology of the shark, whether it's movements, quite a mysterious species for such a large animal, up to 12 meters actually, so, um, and quite a, quite a special experience to be in the water with an animal of that size. I won't go into the details of accommodation and the other logistics of the trips <coughs> right here. There's plenty more information on the website uh, regarding that. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reference that or send us an email if you're, if you're interested. And we can give you a little bit more in-depth information as to what the trip involves and, uh, and whether it's the, it's the right trip for you. So um, if you're interested, just get in touch. So whether you're coming on a trip with us over the summer months uh, up in the Hebrides or whether you're keen to come with us on one of our research trips in the Clyde area in uh, September and October, I uh, really looking forward to having you out on the water and uh, it'll be great to see you out there. Cheers.